Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, A to Z series which we're playing as the Metal Mouth. Now, it's not where we left off last time. We're actually at war with the Montana Brotherhood because Standing Rock went to war with them. And uh, I'll be honest here, uh, we had to do some funky things here. Um, yeah, uh, the Montana Brotherhood is extraordinarily strong and we are not. So, yeah, we had to do some funky stuff here. Let's just put it like that. Um, let's just say it's not always uh, approved, but... Basically, if I didn't do my funky stuff with cons commands, uh, we would have died. We would have easily died. So, unfortunately, um, this is the only way I can see us winning any sort of war against these guys. Because of how difficult it is. But I sure do love guns. Don't you have a gun that won't blow up? And I read through all these last time, too, so. Uh, more manpower? Yeah. Yeah, the people of Montana, here's our call. Between the cons, MacArthur, and the Brotherhood, we must stand united. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I apologize for using cons commands. You know, it is what it is, but still. Okay, there. You know, you do that. Good. Oh, I guess we go to war with the Northern Cons we really wanted to. Don't think we are going to. But, whatever. Go here. Now, I need you all to stay here and go in and around. Because once... Oh, they're gone. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. That is unbelievably bad for us. Um... They're still attacking down here. Uh, I don't see a possible way through here. How many divisions they got? So they've, they've lost 1,200. They've up to 18. Our divisions are not as strong as their divisions are, unfortunately, as you can probably tell. Um, we are making more, don't get me wrong. But can we pierce them? No, we cannot, which is a big old problem for us. Uh, and they do have extra divisions up in the mob, too. Which is quite not ideal. Uh, if we do that, we'll probably get attacked as well. And now they'll be pushing us out. So, I'll let you know that and that's basically what we had to do this entire time. It's not been fun. Um, yeah, but the Montana Brotherhood is very, very strong, and we're just not very strong. So, let me deal with them a little more. Off screen. Alright, everyone. So, we finished off the war with the Montana Brother Brotherhood, Montana chapter. Um, totally didn't use cons commands or anything like, like that. I'll be honest, the Metal Mouths are just too weak. They're incredibly weak. And they're not very much fun to play because how ungodly behind they are in technology and how weak they are because of that technology loss. But we're at war with the Trucons for now. And they just went to... Uh, the Highland Watch just went to war with them. Um, so we'll see if we can actually do anything here maybe. Once the Highland Watch starts pushing in harder, that'll be great for us and to see them do that. Um, we did some technologies as well off screen, just a little bit here and there. Um, or some books, I should say, such as uh, Billing Medical Marvels. Billing's medical industry had become the highlight of the thriving city pre-war, possibly the best in the Northern Commonwealth. Not only did this contribute to the development of cybernetic replacements here, but also gave us a solid supply of medical equipment to stockpile and utilize. Handy for the times when bullets don't bounce off us. Mine over metal. Reading the manuals on similar equipment may have really done wonders for us for working it. Maybe we should have tried this sooner. Um, a strange howling. As we approach the eastern end of, some of our guys have been reporting strange misfunctions in their implants. Random firings in their limbs, whispers in their ears, false data scrolling in their vision. What could it mean? Rumors point to a place not much further in the territory of these ones called historians. Scavenger shells. The armor we recovered from pair is a lot like that used by MacArthur Base. Using that metal for ourselves will make us all the tougher. And chewing coal. The coal consortium had always been a pain raid and worse to bargain with. Now all the stockpiles are open to, the melt to, open to us to melt down scrap in a field of implantations. So, um, but so far this war has gone really badly for us. We've lost 1,600 versus 5,000. It's not going very well. And since they're busy, I wonder if we can do anything here too. Because I want to make sure that we get a high enough war score percentage that we can take pretty much everything. And maybe we go to war with Highland Watch ourselves once they're, once they're done. But I cannot recommend this nation. I really cannot recommend the Metal Mouths. They're just way too weak. And I know we need to use um, implants to make ourselves stronger. But the amount of implants you need for your actual entire army is so ridiculously high that I can't recommend this. I really can't. It's just too tough. I mean, you need literally thousands of implants per, uh, like, this entire first army group that we have. It's really just not easy. And we record a couple things here and there, too, but it's just not, it's just, it's too difficult. Maybe my opinion will change once we're done with this episode, but we'll see. Thank God Highland Watch went what, to war with these guys, because these were a pain in the butt. I spent, like, half an hour off screen just trying to beat up the cons, because the technology is so bad here. Um, so we did everything we could here. That'd be nice. That'd be good, too. Even though we get later on in our focus tree, 
Uh, corn reduction cost. Uh, um, it just... It's not worth doing. I, you might as well core Montana now. Then again, I guess we're heading down to uh, Wyoming. That's good, too. Recon. Cybernetic enhancements better make our soldiers extremely strong. Spec Ops. So they're all dead, which is good. Um, I would like to take most of these guys, but obviously we can't. Oh, I want Casper though. Casper would be nice. If we take it all, will they go to war with us? They might be able to. We'll see. Thanks for Casper, guys. And that would allow us to core stuff up through, through here, too. Because, my god, do we need more strength. There you go. Now they're going to just fight on us, which is fine with us. Uh, which I don't like that we do have a border now with the Highland, the Dakota Republic up here. Which means we're going to need a much, much bigger army. Um, let's see, something we do. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. Um, how long is it going to take them for them to go to war with us? Way too long. I'd rather just go to war with them like this. So we're going to do this down here. Cultural assimilation. More compliance. I don't want more resistance, though. Resistance sucks. It's one of the things I hate the most. Uh, and overall blues besides uh, waterways. Whew. Well, at least Casper works for now. From at the node. 40 is good. 30. Looks like 35. Yep. Hey, level 8 is pretty good. 41. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Well, this we're making more money, which is good. Um, in the meantime, we're going to come over here and do this too. Oh, hello. Well, there goes our campaign. We can't do anything against these guys. There's absolutely nothing we can do against uh, MacArthur. You know, that's what I hate about this. I mean, why? Just, just why? There's literally nothing we can do about this. So I apologize, but we're going to use consequence one more time. Because it's just, it's too difficult. It's way radically too difficult to do this. Can I like give you like some of the demanded territory? I'd rather live and still do that. Um, but I don't think they'll listen to me. How many days? We, oh, they're doing a focus. Um, yeah. Nah, this campaign's pretty much bust at this point. There's no way we can take out these guys. There's absolutely no way. They're so strong. I mean, the Enclave Power Armor too. We can't fight Power Armor. We literally do not get enough piercing as Metal Mouths to pierce through Advanced Power Armor. Oh, wait, wait, they want this territory? Why do they want this territory? So, let me double check and see what happens. Alright, so the crisis has been averted for a little bit. We just had to give over some of the Core Montana Brother chapter territory. Um... Going all this over here, which is pretty nice. But now we're over the Highland Watch, and it looks like we're doing actually relatively okay-ish in the beginning. Um, I think we should really focus on the areas that we can win well at, so how about we do this first? This is not going well, but we have little areas here that we're doing okay in. Um, so apologize for being a little ragey, but I've been doing this for a while now, and uh, it can be very annoying when doing stuff like this. Incredibly annoying. So, hopefully we can get some sort of... Yep, there it goes. Good. Uh, as long as it's not MacArthur coming for us, because MacArthur is just going to murder us. We're doing Leroy Brown, of course. If you want to read about him, please go ahead again. Um, let's see. Killer Doc. Daniel Handy. Danny Albright. Uh, yeah, I'm one of the only merchants crazy enough to make dealing with a mallet of mouths their main source of income. And the leader of the only caravan allowed to travel all the way to their territory without hassle. The trade loots they don't want or can't use. Have to do the raids in return for supplies from the settlements far enough away to not recognize the origins of her wares. Top cap is given to ever more rare find of an uh, implant or prothesis, usually dug up by scavengers with no knowledge of how to utilize them. She won the respect by winning a metal forearm from a gang in a wager, letting them take her left arm that afternoon to implant it. Of course, it wasn't till she woke up that they had told her she hadn't won the hand with it, but she goes along with a joke to this day to maintain her best customers. Um, so we want my treasure, rate attack, uh, max factory in the state, copper robbers, maybe not too bad. Logistical genius, not bad either. Um, 
Molly B. Dennett and Mar Molly Barium Dennett. That's not bad. Let's go over here first. Metal uh, Mouth. Keeping up with the Steel Joes is a difficult task, even for most of Enhanced Metal Mouths, but there's one member of the gang who can hang out without a single augment. Meat Mouth, who himself named himself shortly after joining the new crew as a massive lump of super mutant. Not particularly clever, but surprisingly amiable for someone prone to eating captives, the mutant has become a respected raider or raid leader among his human counterparts. Smashing, crashing, bashing, and mashing are M Meat Mouth's favorite tactics, and is especially fond of peeling open armed foes in search of canned food. I like that one. And uh, implanted springboard, more speed, reconnaissance, daily command, multiply, which you don't really need. It's not bad, general mayhem. Uh, it's not bad. More, I like the recovery rate. Uh, it's not bad either. Max entrenchment plus 20% is pretty good, but general mayhem. We have no idea where this guy came from. Says his mom was one of Steel Joe's old flames from back in the day, but since then, he keeps changing the details every time he tells a story. No one can figure out if that's true or not. I still think we should leave him in a ditch somewhere, but this particular loony is a good enough fighter that we can't just uh, justify dropping him. Good. So at least we broke over the river, which is good. Radio. Uh, I'll grab some of this too. Can we do anything else here? No. Obviously we can't. This is stupid. I hate these really weak, weak, weak divisions. You're not allowed to lose. Technology plays such a huge, important role in us winning. You know, I said you're done attacking. Oh, they have to work someone else too, huh? Nice. Oh, so you finally broke over, huh? Now that they've gone to war someone else, now they can do stuff here. Okay, that's stupid. <sighs> you know, I guess Mazda just found Lone Tree then. Oh, they're forcing the defense now. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, our damage is just so weak and terrible, it's not funny. I gave some Spec Ops implants to use, but obviously it's not good enough. Some circuitry. It's fine. Spent army training. Don't want to do that for now since we're still at war. More research speed's nice. Just breaking over that river. It's really bad. Really, really bad. Come on, help me out. So we've lost, what, 1,000? 500 is not terrible. We've caught 1,500. Lone Tree's done it. Quite a bit of damage to him, but yeah. These low tech nations. That's why I use Old World Blues generic decisions uh, revamped so we can maybe ascend technological ascendancy because my god, do we need it. Uh, going here would probably be the smartest thing to do. Cut him off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nope. Hey, let's get a navy out of this. If we're going to avoid MacArthur, that'd be the best thing. So, who is Highland Watch? Okay. Well, let's get more uh, military factories. We're going to need a lot of them. But the other things here. So, how many implants do we have? We need some infantry armor as well. Implants, we don't have enough. A lot of infantry armor. Frequency analysis, nice. Get some of that too. Alright, so there's that. Expand army training. Culture simulation would be nice, but we're not going to do that. Militia, infantry, power armor vehicles. <sighs> because for each one here, each division requires 225, and it makes it so hard to create. It, it, it's just not worth it. I mean, you just, I mean, we would be in a deficit for such a long time, it's not funny. Adaptation doctrine. Uh, recovery rate's good. Oh, can we get another one. Hey, level 9 is pretty good, though. Alright, so can we record anything else yet? No. No, which really sucks. Adobe housing is fine. Let's pretty much research everything we have here. Fighting these guys is going to be a pain in the butt, too. Failed successor is fine. Um, really? We need to go to war with these guys. And that's really where our destiny is. I tell MacArthur really wants to just finish us off. Um, and the Ruminators, too. But I want to go to war with the Dakota chapter, or Dakota Republic first, before them. Because that shortens the border that we'll have to have for them to fight them. Positive, what's positivity? Self-help books, plus 20%. Can't kill them. They can go to war with MacArthur, which is stupid. Uh, wh why would we do that? Two peoples, Bismarck's, Resistance Target, first shot of the lake. 
Dakotas. Of course, we want to go down here. More weight. Reinforced metal armor. Claim in every state in Wyoming. Metal armor. Reinforced metal armor. I see why the devs have made it so that we are... We can't do everything we want in terms of technology. And we get technology anyways. But my god, is it difficult. Let's see. So we got plenty of army XP. How about we save some of that for upgrading our land auction? We're getting to the new, next land auction, too. Good. Some more radio would be nice. How many more days we gotta wait? Eh, about a month. Less than a month. Which is good. Eh, we're not gonna raid anybody for now. Our division just suck. Can't do that. Rethink our focuses. Cultural assimilation, unit training. I'd like to do that, but we can wait for that. How many implants do we have? Infantry armor, we're not even making anything yet. Oh man, yeah. Good. Alright, so with that in mind. Alright, so we've got these guys here. Nice. Um, go and do these two. Land auction wise, what do we got? Voice on tactics. Mutants wouldn't matter. Refined warfare doesn't matter because we're not using heavy special forces. Automated. I guess conventional warfare is the one we're going to do. Science and technology. Alright, so if we go to war with them, will they attack us? No. Good field rations. Recon. Reliability. Attrition. This one. Still good. Uh, static anti air. They've got quite a few divisions around here. Could all of you. Hmm. Could you all do this and help out here? You might be able to, maybe. Lone trees might be weak enough where we can actually do this, maybe. Keep these guys in place. Don't let them add any more to the mix. There you go. Hold. The special forces lead. This is this an enemy we can actually take on and do well and successful against? Wow! And just snake up the river. Oh yeah. Finally, we can do something here successfully. And I hope they don't have another land border with MacArthur. Oh god. Oh, uh, they don't. Well, they do, technically, but it kind of leads up, leads up to this one. Hello. Well, they want to keep attacking. I'm okay with that. Now that we're mostly across the river, it doesn't matter too much. Promise of loot. Science. Yeah. Yeah. Looks about right. Yeah, there's no point to attack. Oh, man, even just, they're forcing the attack, too. Hey, I love drugs. All right, so you're actually learning something here. Can you do their fox? Thank God. At least you're learning. Jesus. Oh, you actually might, you might actually lose there. Look at that. Yeah, they're, they're attacking so hard, they might actually kill themselves on the line. That'd be quite unfortunate. Yeah, they're doing some, some serious damage to us. Force defense, then. I'm gonna do that. Get mightily obliged with them. Oh, yeah. Looks like they got some new Canaan uh, volunteers as well. You know, they're gonna do another attack? And since we're here, we're just gonna sit here. For now. Alright. Radar. Good. Army training, unit training. We can go with unit training for now. Horse coring. Now, that's not always good to do. I and mean, it lowers our stability. We lose a lot of manpower doing this one. Um, but it really depends. Douglas? Uh, well, I don't want to lose any more manpower as is. Enforcers. Looking pretty good. Throw that on there, too. Now we're out of manpower. Oh, no. I'm going to force a coring. We need more stability, though. Oh, no.
Our political power, new citizen's care package. New citizen's care package, definitely for that one. Uh, look at that. Great bargaining chip, that's fine. You know? If they want to do us dirty like this, that's fine. So they've lost about 4,000, 5,000. Not bad. Now, can we go against them? So they have what? They're out of manpower. After this war, we might be strong enough to go to war with the uh, Dakota Republic. Obviously, we'll let these lands loose. Not much we can really do about that. That's alright. Are we lacking anything here? We got plenty of infantry equipment, finally. Thank God. Finally catching up in terms of technology. Cut these guys in the south off. Uh, economic advisors, you want my treasure? How about biting wires? Ba Rob used to rum it around through old buildings and strip the copper wiring from his rubber coating with his teeth. This will get shocked even after his implants, but he says he likes it now. That's just called genius. Uh, Stan never took too well to the whole important thing, implant thing after coming over from Heaven's Gate, but he's only ever got one eye down, but has managed to use it to get a lot done in the management department. Since then, he's come a long way. No one's had to go hungry for more than a couple days. Nice. Go straight in. Good, look at all that. They're gonna die. Good, kill them off. Good. Black Canyon, eh, yeah, Dakota. Hundred fifty. My God, why does it take so long? Side channel attack. Uh, you guys can all just come in. At this point, they we killed off a lot of them. Finally, I feel like a true person that can actually, you know, do some damage here. We're gonna radically need more divisions, so, though. Uh, to take on MacArthur. Alright, so let's see what these guys can do against us next. Once we, once we go to war with them, of course. We could take on the Ruminators, but like I said, this shorns our border up. Ooh, we do have a little border up there too with them. Um, you know what? Let's see what this division can do. So we're done with all that. That's good. And all. Sure, we'll put it right there too. Boop. A singular division might be strong enough. It'd be better if we had two divisions. Mercury, welcome, Mercury. Um. Oh, I forgot we had ships too. Let's let time go on. We need time anyways to help core stuff anyways, especially from the Great Cons. So for now, now we've done everything here. We can lower this by one. Uh, we need infantry armor. My god, do we need that? So we're done with all this. We're actually decent here in engineering. Finally. Thank god. Ooh, should not have let this go on for too long, but whatever. Better coring costs, I suppose. And... Basic training appointments? Sure. Stability? Yes. We're only 42%. Help out settlements? Yes, please. Water is okay. Support equipment? Sure. Peace over war. Expand army training? Absolutely. Happy November, everybody. Platoon training is nice. Um, still don't want to roll out implants yet for it to... Uh, our guys, yeah, because I just don't think this is enough, especially as we want more infantry armor. We only have 400 some right now. It's not good enough. Uh, yeah. But we can probably create an agency too. Would help us out. Oh, we start coring more stuff. Yes. 62 is not bad, especially with all the political power that we've raised up. Tribal huts, not bad, not great. Oh, now we did this. Oh, my bad. Aliens? Oh, that's from MacArthur. Learned that out the other day. Ooh. A lot of M's in Montana. Um, you know, it hurts the research speed. I'm okay with that. Still just Highland Watch good. Heart attack. Piercing. Uh -huh. Even though we get a 30% redu coring reduction in Wyoming, at this point, I don't care. It, it's just too late in the game. I think it would be better if we could get that per focus, taking out enemies, like taking out the Highland Watch, taking out the Great Cons, taking out everyone else. I think it would be better off, at least gameplay-wise, to build up the middle mouths more, at least in my opinion. I could be completely wrong about that. 
you know, who am I? Just but a person complaining on the internet sometimes. Uh, but I think that would be actually be a really good thing. I think that would make the metal mouse a little easier and maybe get more technology as time goes on. I and mean, we kind of have it here, but but even more so. Aren't we coring Douglas anyways? Uh, I thought we were coring Douglas. Well, I, I thought I clicked on that earlier too, but apparently the game didn't work. I make it work. So. Looking production. Let's take a look see. Well, you know what? I'll put down resistance for now. There you go. Yeah, if that's the case, we can wait. We should have actually a decent amount of manpower at this point now. But I guess not. I'm wrong. But that does help us push into little Wyoming, Wyoming, South Wyoming, and hopefully get us into Utah. Is this in Utah at all? No, Utah's up here. No, this is Idaho up here. It's still Montana. No, that's still North Wyoming. God, it's all Wyoming. Um, you know what? Just in case, let's do hills. So let's see. They still have power armor. Our piercing ability is not great. Now, the Dakota chapter doesn't have very good power armor, but still. Give me a second here. Oh, let's see what happens. One division, can they hold out? They might be able to. Can you do this? You finally might be able to do something here. Wow. And then we'll go to War of the Ruminators and make ourselves even stronger. It's amazing what happens. Uh, watch out for spies. Good, good, good. We're not building up any more things here. Douglas. Build up Douglas. It's going okay. As long as you don't have to fight MacArthur or anyone else or anyone. Oh, well, I guess we lost that up here, didn't we? That kind of sucks. We should do all right. Nope, nope. Everyone in the south, you better hurry up. We're losing in the north. Uh. Hmm. There you go. See what you can do. Two divisions certainly are better than one. Oh man, they are stacking a lot of guys here. Oh, they're forcing a the defense too. You know what? Our special forces are going to force the attack as well. Well, it helps slow them down. We still have no manpower. Well, threat to all people. So be it. Train knowledge. You can attack if you want. It's up to you. I need you guys in the south to do more than what you're doing right now. It's just not enough. No good. You're gonna force defense. Nice. More recovery rate. Oh come on. Grow up. I hate these frontline systems sometimes, man. They're just so bad. I need you to push out. I need you to hit him harder. I need you to like not die. <laughs> uh, let's not lose a bank, shall we? Should be able to do that. Two divisions versus one, especially when they're weak. Uh, you should be able to do that too. I just gotta keep watching that just in case the game is glitched. Okay, special forces. Are you stupid?
go here, do that, and work around him. Thank God. You can figure out how to take him out. Well, it looks like the, the, the assaults in the north have ended. Thank God. Oof. Metro Center buses? Absolutely, we need more manpower. Oh, man. Fine, in this, the sparsely populated areas up here. Oh, my goodness. This has turned out to be glitched as well, which is not good. Um, you know what? How about we come up here? You drive your way all the way up to where they want it, our own territory. That'd be nice. Yeah, you guys come here, too. And just go. Where do you get there? I mean, they want to die. They're going to die there. Good. As they should. Another purpose change. More recovery rate. Um, I want you guys to focus here. You want to leave? Alright. Yeah, they wanted it. Go down to Miles City. Infantry, we're doing okay. We're not doing great around here, but we gotta keep up the pressure on them. Um, infantry equipment, just in case. Rider armor. Yeah, we just need more armor. Uh, would you mind helping out? Thank you. Go in. Kill them all. Good. An encirclement. I love it. Oh, they wanted to escape. You son buns of sons of bitches are going to die here and make me happy. Ah, love it. Heavy armor mastery. Nice. Nice. Welcome aboard. Trial by fire. You were literally in the training camps. Um, especially for some of these infantry armor divisions. Um, as we were fighting these guys. And we had, we had, uh, we just had to have them come out. So many we lost. Rubber production, we on chemical bleaching. 1600 versus 8600, not bad. It could have been a lot worse, but god dang do I complain a lot. I complain about complaining, man. What is wrong with me? Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm, good. And uh, up next will be uh, Ruminator. So we can continue with our focus tree, finally. It's been a while. At least we get another um, trade node too, with uh, Rapid City, that'd be great. And Bismarck, well, Bismarck eventually. We'll get there. Hey. Uh huh. Oh, we got him. Wow, look at that. We actually took someone else out. You know, I complained a lot in the beginning, and I still complain, but like, sometimes it's just so difficult, man. We can actually do stuff here. Wow, breaking rocks. The weight is old and weak, ours is new and strong. We quench a fire standing rock and we'll have to get used to it. Maybe Mercury can talk some sense in a few more of them. So now we've got a big old thing here. I'm going to send half of you here because you, unfortunately, have to do it like this. Because you guys have to do this. Because I do not want to forget about that tiny, 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 tiny little way here. There you go. Alien infestation? Force scoring. Alright, so how many implants do we actually have now? 5,100. That's probably not enough. We could try it, though. We have the infantry armor for it. There we go. Just in case, get a Pismark 2. So many divisions do the Ruminators have? As we're breaking rocks. Not that many, which is good. Good. Iron Tooth's tail. All that Iron Tooth knows what the vision means, or so he says, when Joe Demand answers. He started up some long tale about the wolf and the mother creator and manifest. And honestly, we've all lost all track. Then he mentioned the wolf could control all metal like nothing else in the world, and so we all perked up. Maybe we are on track to a new treasure like what we found in Billings. Oh, oh, that's from. Oh, okay, interesting. Good. Good. Yeah. That's right, Modge. Good. Now, what is this one? Organization? Ooh. Canneries, vulcanization. Sure, we'll do whatever we can here, anyways. Travel stuff, let's keep going with this stuff too. 
This has been a long time coming. Can't quite do whatever we want, but we're going to do what we can. If we can move fast enough around, we can circle them. Offering up to, to a hungry man, now the boys want to prove ourselves. These folks showed up now alongside Iron Tooth. The Wolf's Bane, they call themselves, claim to speak for it. They say if we bring some sacrifices for its experiments, we'll be rewarded with an audience. There's some tribes out east that should make it free to captures. Oh god. And we got off good. Oh god. How many implants are we missing now? Okay, so we barely had enough. Look how much implants it takes. It takes so many implants. Is it worth it? Is it really worth it? I mean, we better have the best infantry in the entire wasteland at this point. Uh, to make it worth it, really. Mm. I'm put you back. I'm going to put you out here. Come on. Boop. Boop. Ain't so fortunate. I'll help myself to all your caps and anything else you got in there, you scrawny smilers. You can't kill the metal. Our enemies tried to destroy the metal, but the metal was too strong. Well, not really. Not really. It was a pain in the ass to do all this. Um, but, return to Missoula. Oh, let's play. Still, Joe's motivated by more than her adventure loot, more than even the need to prove her metal. They know might have supplies to produce more of the metal. It would be so-called remnants of the U.S. government. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no. Uh, we need a serious buff, or at least a reduction in terms of how much it takes to make implants, or something. Level ten, economic note. Fine, we're actually getting somewhere. It took so long just to get to this point. Brown. Hey, welcome back. Well, welcome, Leroy. I don't think we've used you yet, but I'll put myself. Mm. I still doubt we could take on uh, the. I can't think anymore. MacArthur Group. I just don't think we can. We're just not strong enough. At least that looks nice. You can't kill the metal. Return to Missoula. Yeah. So when can we do this next one? Oh, hungry for a hungry mob. Two peoples. Okay. Well, go to work. Two peoples. We still need more time to build up our guys and build up our, you know, division count and whatnot. Napoleon. MacArthur done new. No. Well, we'll definitely do MacArthur. Hey, Bismarck is ours too. Great. Now we must be out of money. Oh, close enough. Oh, let's go to 46 caps. That's not bad. stuff. Meeting the wolf. Still Joe is descending into the bunker today to meet his mi mysterious force has been calling out to us. Time to see if it's all worth the trouble. And then drags the Dakotas. Well, the matter of the wolf taken care of, we're as strong as we have ever been. Why not finish sweeping up the Dakotas into our territory? We can always make some new sources of members, and the drugs here can make fine fighters someday, with a few improvements, of course. The Dakotas. Get done first. Boop, 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 boop. Did I get rid of heavy melee weaponry? I hope not.
Oh, yeah. Well, we wanted to make it in a circle map, but then they all died first. Uh, what are we missing here? Not much. Seriously, more rider gear. Because we're going to be missing a lot of rider gear. Or infantry armor, I guess, as they say. Nice. Crow's Creek. Every 30 days is quite a few days, but still. Let's get to Cooper Town. Here, just force it. It's okay. There you go. Didn't need that, I guess. Time to go on real quick. And then we can start acquiring some more stuff from the Dakotas. That'd be nice. Once this focus is done, of course. We should do it first. Need the wolf. Stonks, good. Level 9 is not bad. Broadcasting, sure, we can money for it. Army XP. Power melee weaponry would be great. Recall implants, 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 implants. No, don't know that. Uh, no, it didn't get rid of it. Nice. First child of Lake Sydney. Or Sydney Loke. Steel Joe had been torn apart from the armored warriors of the Midwest, walked through the steel through the Gauss fire of Bismarck alive. And slay the tribe of two moons, but as he had in his posse walked into the large doors of the manifest facility, the cheer and joy of battle began to fade. The rainbow colors began to crack and fade, much like Joe's own air of confidence, as they descended further into the facility. Leroy and Tammy trailed behind him, followed by Iron Tooth, who had taken an unusual break from his usual lab shenanigans once he had heard of the group's taking of the facility. He, the wooden icon on his neck twisted and curled between his fingers as the man with the Iron Tooth took in the sights of the complex. Uh, say, Joe, me and, Laura, me and Lo Leroy are going to try to sell something. Do you think this boomstick did most of the work in taking out those Mark guys, or were my Gen Yi Wine Stratagem the better part? Joe held up his fist. As far as I care, both of you are equal on how punchable you are, and anyone want to taste? A fist that quickly sparked and sputtered, along with the rest of Joe. To the posse, it seemed like no more than the usual temporary malfunction. To Joe, it was though his entire being was being ripped apart. Quickly, as a sensation had engulfed him, the sensation had disappeared. As he did the sounds of his posse behind him, upon opening his eyes, he found he had been ripped apart in a way. It was nothing more than his previous flesh and bloody body somehow returned to him in front of him. The metal, his metal, swarmed. Swarming in the ship of something that looked like an angry beast, but even looking at it, Joe thought he wasn't the hungry, angry kind. Hungry kind of angry. It was a demand. An intelligent demand from an intelligent beast. On the other hand, this was his metal that it was using, mocking him. All it would take him is remembering himself, his humanity, his sanity, everything he had gained when he first ventured to Montana on his own feet so long ago to get it back. He knew to the beast, after all, what was if he was not a beast himself? Ooh, strength of Fenrir. Immune to the negative side effects of all cybernetic technologies, regular Joe clutches fists. He would be Steel Joe again. Slayer of the Wolf. Core Creation Gus goes down too. What do you mean negative side effects? I like the core creation cost, more political power, recovery rate, and resistance target. We can't even do this one? Are you kidding me? Medical assistance, enhanced competitiveness. So, what's the point? You don't even get all the debuffs. And it's just factory output. And recruitable population factor. And honestly, this one seems like a better target. Uh, what's the point? Can you use slightly more supply use? That there, there's literally no why why. Hmm. I don't understand that. Uh, hopefully it's still in the story that we can continue going on and taking stuff out and whatnot, but still. More weight. Some of the newer recruits think her plan to slap even more armor cells is extremely practical and actively detrimental to our ability to remain mobile in combat. Huh. They can stay in the back then, the weaklings, all we get all the glory, nice and personal like. Where do they all learn these words anyways? So all this is done. Yeah, unless we can get more technology for implants, that, that's definitely not the route we want to take. Uh, Billings. And you know what? Get one of these two. And we can actually afford to have radar finally. Go figure.
but yeah, this takes forever to get anywhere decent. The roads look lots of roads, lots and lots and lots of roads. Cool. Dredges of the Dakotas. Boop, boop. So let's take a look at the Dakotas. That's Wyoming. The stretch up here. So up to here, this style. Let's bring forward this one. It's fine. 26, nice. We do. We got a lot of core. Oh boy. Card melee weaponry, absolutely worth it. So let's go to war with the Crow's Creek, and then we'll go to, try to go to war with MacArthur. And if it doesn't go well, then I'm, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> Looks like this one would be good to do next. In here, oh yeah. Train doggies, and if we get there. Neural interface. More HP. I mean, they better make us perfect. Like... Because uh, I'm tired of dealing with this. Subpar divisions. Subpar you know, strength. It's just not fun. You get this stuff too late. You don't produce enough of it. It just... It has so much potential. And it's a lot of good story. This is a lot of good story. I love the story of this. So I hope the devs... The devs are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but... Just, just needs a few more tweaking here and there. Sioux Falls? I've been there, I think. No, it's Sioux City. I've been to Sioux City, not Sioux Falls. Oh, we go to one. Good. And can you force the attack and see what happens? I would like to have planes, too. Maybe we should get some planes, hopefully. I love how they all left this one tile. Alright, so it looks like we got a lot of infantry armor. So after this war's over, we're gonna start converting everybody to over to enforcers and see what happens. 41 versus a thousand, not bad. Hey, Legion 7 is a little bit of a civil war. That's a small little civil war. Um as long as they're not fighting, well, I guess NCR. I guess they are. Ooh. Division Republic of Texas, looking alright. Tribal stuff, civilized stuff. Nathaniel's Watchmen. What a bunch of bastards. What do you want? You want all these people's territory. You know what? We're going to go to war with these guys anyways, and I really do not want to fight <laughs> the Royal Accord. Oh my god. Fine. Should have blown up the roads first. Kill yourself, Nathaniel. Not you. If, you're, if your name is Nathaniel, don't kill yourself. You're probably a fine person. Totally fine. Absolutely great pro person, probably. But in game. Just in case. Yep. Seems about right. Ninety-two percent's looking pretty good. Sons. Of oh, and there goes the Legion of Remnants. All right. So you're all going to convert now. Montana Uncle. Oh. Well, you know, that's actually a good timing for us. So, where do we want to push the hardest? They're up here. And they'll send divisions that way, too. And you know what? We'll send you guys here to help do this first. We don't have very much here. Leadhead Louie. The gun nut, eh? Alright. I'm glad they're fighting over here. I'm really glad that that's actually going on. 
Oh, go, can we actually get stimulants three? Or I should say implants. Hmm. I mean, I'm expecting these soldiers to be like literally perfect. With how much, how much the high cost it takes just to get up to here. All right, so we can finally core you. That's good. That help coring all around here too. Uh, still out of manpower, but what else is new? Uh, that's fine. Uh, Stormy Dan. Bronze. Braxton Bronze. Bronze to show up. Well, more defense. Let's go with this one. We found this kid half dead and lying face down in the crater of a plane crash, mumbling at something about a vertebrae. Paula took pity on him and brought him to the gang. He's a whiz in the plane and a complete show off, nearly getting himself killed by pulling off stupid stunts, gunning down radio rad scorpions in his plane, and indulging another in general dumb nassitude. Huh. Alright. Raider of the Seas. Name not for us on his nose, but the love for the smell of it. Particularly sunk in metal and salt water, slowly fading apart under the salt from the brine. Given that we're hundreds of miles from any major body of salt water, he's mostly stuck with filling bathtubs. We left him in charge of the handful of riverboats we captured. Not that they amount to much. Rumor say he plays poker with old Iron Tooth on Thursdays, but no one's ever seen it and lived. Oh, what do you want here? Docs? Let's go with docs. I mean, we're, we need a lot of doctors here. So how many divisions do you got? You're busy with... Uh, Jackson. Not a lot of manpower. Not a ton of divisions. We should do all right. God, this has been a pain in the ass campaign. I'm sorry, I just the beginning. I mean, so many times I had to start and stop recording. I actually recorded like for five minutes as well and then just turned into complete crap. It was... At the end part of the campaign, it's okay. When you're trying to do this stuff... Oh, I forgot about more ways over here. Crap, that's not good too. Um, it's just not. Uh, we'll clean that up with Spec Ops once the Spec Ops clean up that part there. Safety regulations. Don't really care about safety regulations. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What are you doing? Why are you taking so long? What are you doing? I need you to force the attack. You're going in and destroying them right now. Signal translations. And of course they do have their superiority too. Uh, so when you're done, as you are right now, you can do this. You go through here like this. My god, do I need you right now? Really badly through here. Oh, they're almost dead. And we got nothing from them. Bruh. as you possibly can hit this direction. That'd be good. Fifty... So this is ugly, but it's actually not too bad. Oh, what did we else get here? Oh, a favorable count. A talking mall is a little weird place to set up shop or take down orders from, but who are we to judge? We've heard of Miss Count's exploits out west, and the recent change in luck makes them valuable, but lacking in friends. Still, Joe's ready to shake hands and define hard borders between us and the north if they start supplying us guns or one raider gang to another. Plus, plus, I've seen the membership plus package. Honestly, I think Wobble Marks, whatever this. I think I want to take up the, the Brotherhood. Because we still need this. We've proven our dominion over every group in the region, and our conquests have, have the loot flowing in. Newly taken bits and pieces are already being hooked up in the fresh recruits, the next Masters of Montana. So I'm going to end it there. We're going to have another episode. I thought we only had two in this campaign, but my god, this pissed me off more than enough. Um, but yeah, we're looking okay. After we cheat in the, basically in the beginning, just makes us survive, we can do okay. But. Regardless, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will continue to see what we can do against the Washington Brotherhood and actually, hopefully, somehow end a good old Steel Joe's story. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic rest of...
your day.